Okay, so good morning. So we are now uh, we are now to discuss another example to our problem last uh, meeting, no? Which is a design for flex remember. So of course, uh, when we design uh, using those formulas na binigay sa atin, we should be manageable also kung ano yung mga inputs natin sa mga equations na binigay last time. So this time we will practice those one, and of course we will apply our knowledge on the design of flexure members. Okay, let's start. Uh, let me read first the problem. So, a W18 by 50 steel member is used as a beam with a simple span of 10.70 meter. Now, due to architectural limitations, the beam depth shall be maximum of 450 mm. Nominal loads are given. You have the uniform dead load of 6.50 kN per meter and a uniform live load of 10.90 kN per meter. Now, limit the live load deflection to L over 360 and assume the beam is braced at the mid-span in both ends. So, we are given the yielding strength or your FY, you have 345 MPa and your ultimate strength of uh, 448 MPa. So, uh, I think we are limited to, on, uh, to only 2, 4, 5 givens, no? You have the BF or the width of the flange, you have 190.40 mm. Your thickness of the flange, you have 14.5 mm. Your depth of flange, you have 456.90 mm. And your web thickness equivalent to 9.0 mm. And you have your, the weight is 74.60 kg per meter. Okay, so we will be using only this value, sa. So, hindi binigay yung ibang mga constants or yung mga properties niya. Kasi... Oy, yun yung hahanapin natin. First, determine the following. You have to determine the area, the moment of inertia of the given section. Letter B, determine the torsional moment J and the, wrapping, and the warping constant CW. And letter C, we will check the adequacy of the beam. Okay, so hanapin natin yun, no? So, isulat ko lang dito kasi we will be solving this one. Ayan, so let's try to solve now. Okay. So, therefore, hindi ko muna siya gagamitin yung loads, no? Kasi, uh, I think it is only available on problem number 3. Uh, from problem letter C, rather. Okay, so let's start with letter A. Problem letter A. Okay. Your problem letter A is we are tasked to determine the area of our section. Okay, of course, we need to draw. Okay, para meron lang tayong idea kung ano yung figure natin. Yun yung mahirap, no? Kasi, I cannot, I will not, I am not able to draw, to draw this uh, in a straight path. Magre-rectangle na lang ako. Ayan. Ayan, then, copy ko na lang ito. Ayan. So, this will be my section. Lagyan ko lang ng mga sizes. Yung thickness ng flange natin is given you have 14.5 mm. Flange width, you have 190.40 mm. Then we have this uh, thickness of the web, that is 9.0 mm. And then the total depth, ata. the total depth is given, you have 456.90 mm. Ayan, if we need to get the, uh, to get the, what we call that, the area, of course, is the sum of all areas ng mga rectangles na yan. Okay, so therefore, area, you have the lawang flange. That is 190.40 mm times your 14.5 mm. Plus, yung web mo, you have, uy, bawasan ko yan. You have 456.90 minus the lawang 14.5 I hope na sundan ito ha times 9 mm Okay so your area is equivalent to how much Take note bakit binawasan of course you just need the area ni web Okay so solving that one solve natin sa calculator wala tayong emulator emul, emulator no maganda sana kung may emulator tayo plus 9 ah sorry 456.90 Minus dalawa ka, 14.5. Then, times tayo ng uh, 9 meters. Okay? So, therefore, we have 9327. 
0.7 as your area. Okay, so therefore we have now your area. Ayan. O next, we are to determine the ang hahanapin naman natin moment of inertia. So therefore, take note that you have two moments of inertia kasi we are now dealing with steel, no? So your steel members will have uh, two major axes. Uh, you have two axes rather. You have the major and the minor axis. So your major axis is your strong axis. And your minor axis is your uh, weak axis, no? Okay, so therefore, for strong axis, that is your IX. Hanapin natin si IX. Okay, that is a bending about your Y axis, no? Okay, so therefore, you have your X. Hanapin natin si maximum. Neto, that is actually your moment of inertia. You know that that is the sum of moment of inertia of the basic shapes plus your transfer of moment of inertia if there is any transfer of the moment of inertia, no? Okay. So, ilan ba yan? Triangle, di ba? You have 1, 2, 3. And very obvious that the neutral axis is located at the center. O kasi equal lang naman sila, di ba? If that will not be equal, so therefore magbabarag naman tayo. Okay. So, therefore, you have 456.90 divided by 2. Kaya you have 2 to 8.45. Yan yung magiging location ng centroid mo. 2 to 8.45. And you have here 2 to 8.45. Location lang naman yan ng centroid. Okay. So, kukunin na natin si sum of inertia, no? Sum ne, ng mga inertias natin. Kaya you have, let's start with IX. Your IX is equal to the sum of your uh, moments of inertia. Let's start with the first figure. That is actually BH cube all over 12, diba? So, you have your base, which is equivalent to 190.40. You have your height, which is 14.5 all over 12. Plus, okay, plus your second, I think, can I make it 2? Can I make it 2, this 2, ha? Kasi, take note, you have uh, dalawang rectangle naman sa taas. Okay, so for simply para mas madali lang natin ma-solve. Okay, plus s'yempre da inside da yung natira dito that is the ba um that is 9 kasi yan 9 yung magiging base ko but my height will become 456.90 minus dalawang 14.5 and this is cube divided by 12. Yan. Pagpasensya nyo yung linya ko kasi I'm using a tech pen. Okay. So, how about your transfer? Take note that your first and third rectangle is not located, your centroid is not located at the centroid of all the figure. Diba? So, meaning meron niyang transfer of inertia. So, to, that, to do that one, you have plus your area ng dalawa yan. That is, of course, um, isang area you have 190.40 area then you have 14.5 times your d squared is the distance to the neutral axis take note the distance to the neutral axis is both the same diba that is 2 to 8 2 to 8.45 minus half ng flange minus 14.5 all over 2 okay and this should be raised to squared take note that is for the one side but take note ang uh, number 3 will have the same area and the same distance or D. Kaya therefore, pwede ko na lang ito i-times to, no? So, can you give me now? Or, uh, this is actually pre-recorded, so I will be solving this one. So, IX is equivalent to how much? Yan, you have 190.40 times 14.5 cube all over 12 times 2. Okay, plus... 9 times 456.90 minus dalawa ka 14.5 then this is raised to the third power and you have over 12 plus dalawa ka 190.40 times 14.5 times 2 to 8.45 minus 14.5 divided by 2 and raise that to squared so therefore you have okay you have this 
3290263.2 mm unit yes mm to the fourth or you can express this one as 3.29 times 10 or 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay sige sige 6 yung ginag actually kasi ginagamit natin dito is 6 no ulitin ko ha uh, x raised to the power of 6 tayo. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, therefore, you have 329.0264 times 10 raised to the 6th power mm to the 4th. Kasi sometimes yung nasa, nasa ano natin is uh, naka times 10 to the 6th power. Diba? Based yun sa last na example natin. Okay. So, you have this as your inertia. Take note that you have another inertia, no? Kapihin ko lang ito. You have another inertia. Okay. Another inertia that is on the y-axis. Okay. So, kung, yung, kung y-axis, dito yung base mo. Yung kanina, yung x-axis is dito yung base natin. Kasi patayo, di ba siya? Ngayon, we will assume na pahiga siya. Dito yung y-axis natin. Okay. Ayan. Bending actually in Y. Okay. Bending in Y. Yung uh, X mo is bending pa. Paikot siya. Dito siya magtitwist po. Pag ganyan. Pag strong axis. Pag weak axis dito yung twisting mo. Dito, dyan yung application ng force mo. Okay. So, uh, let's start. Your RY, syempre, magbabaliktad lang yung uh, yung H, ay uh, yung B, tsaka H nyo. Diba? Okay. So, take note, dito, lahat na ng centroid nila is nakahit on all side, di ba? Nakahit sa isang side, di ba? So, therefore, walang transfer of area. Kasi the same lang na ang centroid nitong 3 is andito, ang centroid dito is andito, ang centroid dito is andito. So, they are lying on one line. So, therefore, we will just take the inertia equal to the summation of inertia of all simple figure. Okay, so you have your inertia. Y is equal to dalawa. Dalawang base. Ang base, magiging base nitong flange na to, is of course ito na. And that is equal to 14.5 times siya 190.40 yung magiging height niya all over 12. Okay, so that is go, that goes for 1 and 3. So for that 2, you have magiging base niya is ito. Ito magiging base niya, kaya you have 456.90 minus uh, minus dalawang flange no? minus 2 times 14.5 times 9 cube all over 12 so therefore you get your IY equivalent to how much okay, you have 2 times 14.5 2 times 14.5 times 190.40 cube all over 12 plus 456.90 minus 2 times 14.5 times 9 cube all over 12. Kaya to pull it off, you have 16 1670 6822.15 mm to the fourth. Okay, para, para hindi ka mahirapan na if you are using this IY, stored mo na lang. Okay, so since hindi pa natin siya kailangan, uh, we just let it uh, that way. Pero we can also write this one as uh, yung times 10 to the 6. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, here for you have 16.707 times 10 to the 6th power mm to the 4th. And this will be my another answer. Okay, so I am now done with my letter A. So, ilagay ko lang dito. Para may, re, may source ako, no? A is equals to area equivalent to 9, 3. Pagkano yan? 9, 3 to 7. 0.7 mm. Then, uh, number 2 is IX. You have 329.0264 times 10 to the 6th power. Mm to the 4th. And you have your IY equivalent to, how much yan? You have 16. 16.707 times 10 to the 6th power mm 
to the fourth. Ayan. Okay. Okay, so we will continue now. But this time, we will check these answers. And uh, pag sinabi ko checking, we will just do the another way or the alternate solution to determine our area, our IX, and our IY. Okay, so uh, tignan nyo naman yung ginawa natin. Basically, gumagawa lang tayo ng parang varig nuns, di ba? Or we will just take the summation, no? So actually, we can do this one. Uh, uh, we can do this uh, in your calculator. So basically, magtuturo ako ng Caltech ngayon. So we will do the we will do it using your mode. Okay. Mode 3 2. Okay, mode 3 2. Okay, you have your IX and IY on that area. Okay. Ayan, so for your mode 3 2, you have your X and Y. And paki on na lang ako ng frequency. Okay. Ayan. Yung X and Y mo, uh, that corresponds to the inertias of all figure. Madali na naman, di ba, makita yung inertias? Di ba? Your X at saka Y. Your frequency will be your area. Yung bawat section mo. Okay, let's try. Uh, you have 3, di ba? You have 1, 2, 3. Isulat ko muna dito ha, para ma-input ma ma natin mamaya sa calculator. So, your first figure, the centroid is what? Or Where? In terms of x, your x is that is 190.40 divided by 2. Tama. Your y naman, in terms of y, that is actually um, half half of uh, 456.90 all over 2. And the area is of course 190.4 times 14.5. Okay. So number 2, okay, your x is the same, 190.40 divided by 2. And uh, your y is the same, 4, 5, 6 point... Uh, 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 tama ba yung... Uh, okay, 4, 5, 6 point 90, tama ba? Wait. Centroid. Okay, so may mali ako dito ha. Your y is not 4, 5, 6 point 90 kasi we are referring to the first figure, no? So our y there is you have 456... 456.40... Minus 14.5 all over 2. Yan pala kasi dito yung magiging y mo, di ba? Dyan. Okay. Ito yung 456.90 all over 2. Where in the area, you have 456.90 minus dalawa ka 14.5 times hmm, times uh, 9. Okay. Kasi web yan. O number 3, your x is the same 190.40 over 2, your y now will become 14.5 divided by 2. Ma, kasi dito siya, o, oh, ba? So, it, yung y mo yan, ito yung y mo, is ito yung x mo. Okay, so the area will be the same with 1, 190.4 times 14.5. O, ilalagay natin yan kay calculator and channing. Meron ako emulator para mas madali. Okay. So, let's try. You have, uh, go to mode 3, 2, no? Mode 3, 2. Ayan. Uy, walang frequency. So, kailangan natin i-on sa frequency. You have down. You have your uh, start mode for frequency. Yes, we will light to on it. Uy, ba't hindi naka-on? Again, shift mode. Number 4. Ah, number 1 pala yung on. Ayan. Okay, let's start. Number 1 for X, you have oh, 190.40 Divided by 2, then press equals, ayan. For your y naman, you have uh, 4, 5, 6, nanibago ko no, 90, minus, ayan, 14 point, sorry, 14.5 divided by 2, then press equals, ayan, you have 4, 4, 9, uh, 449.65 no? and of course your area you have 190.4 times 14.5 ok so let's go with another second area madali lang to sa calculator nyo sa emulator lang ito mahirap 190.40 ok 190.40 no? 
190.40 divided by 2 is equal to, ayan, you have 95. Sa magamit lang ako ng keyboard, ah. Okay, for your uh, Y naman, you have 456.45, sorry, 456.90 minus, ay, sorry, divided by 2. Ayan. And your frequency, you have, of course, 456.90 Buwasan ko ng dalawang flange. Dalawang flange of 14.5 times, of course, your 9. Okay, you have there as your area. Then, the last one, you have 190.40 divided by 2, which is your x for your third. And your y, you have 14.5 divided by 2. And your area will be the same with the first one, 90.40 times 14.5. Ayan. So, let's try to scroll. Kung same sila sa first, ayan. Okay. So, therefore, yan na. Okay. Now, for our first problem, determine the area. How to get the area? That is just the sum of the frequency. And dito kay stat mode, that is actually your... N. Kaya to get N, I know, alam nyo naman to, shift 1, N mo is makita sa number 5 regression, ah, sorry, one, shift 1, yung, uh, yung, yung area natin, makita natin dito kay variance, number 4, and press 1 for N. And viola, you have 9372.7 9, as your area. Okay, how to get an X? I have how to get I X. Okay, your R I X based sa kanina. Wait lang. Okay, so let's try now to determine our inertia. Okay, so yung kanina ginawa natin, your inertia X is just equal to the, the summation of the inertias of regular shapes, plus of course transfer of area times d squared or the transfer of area to the neutral axis or the um, kalayo niya sa neutral axis kasi we will just uh, get the moment of inertia al along its neutral axis okay so basically ito kailangan natin kunin ito ito si calculator na ang gagawa so actually madali lang naman yan kasi susundan nyo lang naman si calculator o ba yung ginawa natin sum of all shapes is walang problema the sum of all shapes will just be, you have dalawa ka 190.40, ito yung ginawa natin kanina, di ba? Times 14.5 um, cube all over 12, plus you have your uh, 9 times uh, 456.90 minus dalawa ka 14.5, and that is cube divided by 12, plus, dito na, plus, Okay. Hindi na ikaw yung gagawa nun. Kundi, let your calculator solve for AD squared. And that is by pressing N times sigma Y squared. Okay, bakit Y? Kasi you are going along the Y axis. Okay, this is actually variance. And this is your area. Diba variance is X minus X prime? Ay, X bar. Diba? Based on your statistics. Okay, so we will use that concept. Okay. So, therefore, you will just use this one or take note, pag gumagamit ka ng Caltech nito, pag hinahanap si IX, take the sum of a moment of inertia along X, along song axis, times your Y. This is actually the method na tinatawag naming noy noy. Pag IX, noy noy. Pag IY, nox nox. Okay, this is noy noy. Okay, and how to do that in your calculator? Hindi mo na kailangan mag-fraction. Tuloy-tuloy yung pag-solve. Susundan nyo lang ako ha. That is just actually, okay, i-clear ko lang. Ayan. So, sundan nyo lang yung calculator ko. That is 2 times 190.40 times 14.5 raised to the power of 3. Close mo lang. Divided by 12 kaagad. Okay. Next. Plus. Sundan nyo lang. 9 times. Okay. Close parenthesis. 456.90 minus dalawa ka 14.5 close mo siya and this is raised to cube 
divided by k kay 12. Okay? Therefore, na-model mo na lahat ng, ng basic shape. Okay? Plus, yung si calculator na ang gagawa, you have shift 1. Palabasin lang natin si n. Your n is located at 1. Close parenthesis. Shift 1 ulit. Variance ka ulit, number 4. Palabasin mo si Noy Noy. And Noy is at number 6. And write a square. And close parenthesis. Then press equals viola. This should match this value. And ayan. Viola. You get 3, 2, 9. Okay. Ayan. So therefore, you arrive with the same answer. Okay. Store natin siya kay A ha. Shift store A. Ayan. Nasa kay A na siya. Okay. Baka kakailanganin ko lang siya mamaya. Ayan. Okay. So, let's proceed now with our next Ayan. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Okay. So, let's uh, continue. How about IY? And uh, IY naman, uy, walang problema. Kasi magbabaliktad lang naman yan, di ba? You have 2 over 2 times 14.5 times 190.4 okay, over 12 plus, uh, ito na naman yung cube. This one will become uh, 456.90 minus dalawa ka 14.50 mapapalitan lang yung may cube, si 9 na lang, divided by 12. And this time, you will add n times nox nox. Okay? Yan, yung nasa loob yung may square, ha? Then, we will try to check using our calculator. Balik tayo doon. Oh, hindi na mabalik, no? Kasi nag-store ako. Sayang. Edit lang sana tayo. Okay, next, you have 2 times 14.5 times 190 Point forty raised to third power close parenthesis divide tayo by twelve plus you have four five six point ninety bawasan ko ng dalawang fourteen point sorry fourteen point five close parenthesis another close times nine ito yung cube ko close divided by twelve ayan then Plus, of course, your nox nox. Okay, you have 1 times shift 1. Uh, number 4 variance. Ito number 3 si nox nox. Then type squared. Then viola. Uy, syntax error. Saan ako nag-error? Ah, sobra ata dito. Okay, so mobra ako ng isa. Press equals. Ayan. You have the same answer, 16.707. Ayan. So, walang problema. Ayan. Isasword ko na ngayon siya kay B. So, therefore, eto na kay B. Eto na kay A. Ayan. Okay. So, we will now solve our problem letter B. Okay, so we will continue, no? Uh, we will now solve for our letter B. Our letter B is to determine our torsional moment capacity and our wrapping constant, warping constant rather. So we will use the Galambos. Okay. Galambos equation, you have 1968. Okay. Okay. So the torsional moment capacity actually here, for me, ha, this is just the sum of the weak, ha, weak moment of inertia. When we say or weak moment of inertia, that is the minimum sum of moment of inertia. Okay. Kailan naging minimum ang moment of inertia ni flange if that is in the strong axis? Tama? That is if the strong axis. Uh, what is the moment of inertia ni, ni flange from the base that is actually BH cube all over 3? Diba? From the base. Pag transfer, that is BH cube all over 12 to the neutral axis, di ba? Pag transfer to the neutral axis. Okay. So, the torsional moment capacity will just be the sum of the minimum moment of inertia of each member. 
Okay, ano yung sinasabi ko? Malalaman nyo yan dyan sa formula. O para hindi na lang kayo mahirapan, just follow the formula ni Galambus, which is 2BT cube plus D prime W cube all over 3. Okay, this is actually BT cube all over 3, since dalawang flange, kaya you have 2, plus D prime W cube, cube all over 3, that is actually for the web. Okay? Nakita nyo sa web? Oh, but take note, your D prime lamp, ito lang talaga yung uh, catch, your D prime is equal to 3 minus T. Instead nga D minus twice ni thickness ni flange. Okay? Okay, kasi ang kinukuha niya na D prime, effective is at the centroid, no? At in between centroid. Okay, yan yung kinukuha niya na effective. Okay, so by definition, no, uh, para hindi kayo, hindi, hindi nyo malimutan yung formula ba? Remember the moment of inertia uh, at its base. Okay? Yan. So, to do, that, to do that one, you have your J equal to, pwede pagalabasin na lang natin si 2 third, you have your B equivalent to your B is, uh, I think that is a uh, 190.4. Plus your D prime now. Ah, sorry. Ah. So you have times your T there. You have 14.5 cube. Plus your D prime. You have a 456.90 minus. Ay di to kunyala ilagay. I hope na sundan parin niyo. Minus thickness. You have 14.5. Okay. Times W thickness na web nine cube. Okay. So, therefore, your torsional constant is equal to how much? Okay, you have 2 third ni. You have 2 times 9. Okay. Dito tayo, no? Oh, since nasa base pa rin tayo, nasa stat mode pa rin tayo, so, therefore, you have, uh, pwede, iuna ko na lang yung nasa denominator, yung nasa, ano ha? Ah, sige, sige, ano na lang yung uh, pag-solve natin ka na 2 times 190.40 times 14.5, that is cube, but this time divided by 3 na lang, plus, you have 456.90 minus, isa lang, 14.5 times, sorry, times 9 cube but this time divided by 3 na lang okay then press equals and that will be our answer your torsional moment uh, your torsional constant is equivalent to 4 9 4 point kano yun okay not point but kama pala 4 7 5 point 3 3 3 point 3 3 3 and unit you have mm to the fourth Okay, so therefore, ilagay ko lang siya dito, letter B, your J is equals to 494,475.33 mm to the fourth. Oh, para gusto kong store siya kay C, baka lang kakailanganin ko. Okay, and the last one is the warping constant. Warping constant, po si kay warping constant, base pa rin kay Galambus. Your warping, warping constra, constant is equals to, okay? So, base kay Kalambos, dito tayo. Meron tayong formula, okay? Paki-memorize lang ito. Your CW is equal to D prime squared times B, w, B cube times T all over 24. Okay, this is Galambo's equation pa rin ha. Okay, kindly add that one to your uh, um, what you call that? To your record of formulas. Okay, so substituting you have your CW, your D prime is the same pa rin kanina, that is 456.90 minus 14.5 Okay, squared your B cube D prime kasi is effective depth. Okay, effective depth ni web. Okay, BW, you have 190.4 T cube, and your T is your thickness na flange, kaya you have 14.5 all over 24. Kaya you have your warping constant equivalent to, oh, let's try to have this on this calculator. 
Stored ko muna siya kay C. Stored kay C. Ayan. Check ko. Baka wala na stored. Ayan. So, by W, you have 456. 456.90 minus a 14.5 squared times 190.40 exponent cube uh, okay times 14.5 okay now this is divided by 24 so your warping constant is equivalent to <coughs> okay so you have a very 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 big kasi take note you have cube squared you have 14.5 okay so 3 4, 5, 6. So, you have mm to the 6th power. So, masyado malaki talaga yan. Kaya, you have 8. Alam, magkano yan? You have... Siyempre, wais ko. Di pala. Di pala ko wais. 8 point... Di talaga. Pila to? masulat you now have 8.1618 pwede na siguro yan times 10 to the 11th power mm to the 6 so usually ang nakalagay dito is 10 to the 9th power yung nasa table ninyo so that is uh, 11 so tatlo 1 2 uh, uh, 1 2 lang pala or 816.18 times 10 to the 9th, the same lang pa rin yan, mm to the 6. Okay? So, therefore, ilalagay ko lang siya dito. You have 816.18 times 10 to the 9th, mm to the 6. Okay? So, of course, I will store that one to D. Ayan, nasa kay D na. Balik tayo dito. Again, I will be storing that one, this one to D. Again, so we are now done with our A and B. So therefore, letter C, we will now check adequacy of our beam. Yan. Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is now actually the main event, no? We, will, uh, we are now to determine our uh, the adequacy of our given beam. So, ilagay ko lang, no? That the figure is simply supported. Let me try to zoom in. That our given figure is a simply supported simply supported beam. Ayan. With the following. Ayan. Given tayo na ultimate load. In our span, you have 10.70 brace on this, on this, and on this. Ayan, this is uh, brace on third points, no? And not, not the third points on three parts. You have the end points and, of course, at the mid span. Okay? Ayan. So, therefore, you have this as your L over 2, and this is also your L over 2. Okay, so we will check now the adequacy. So, first, let's try to have uh, the ultimate loads. Oh, let's try to first. Oh, kasi yung kinawa natin last time, hinuli natin si ultimate load, no? Okay, so unfortunately, isang method lang muna yung ituturo natin dito, which is your LRFD method, okay? Base your, uh, your LRFD, your maximum moment, or your maximum W, or ultimate load, is equals to 1.2 dead load plus 1.6 live load, okay? That is uh, different from your, ano, no? So, 2010 at 2001, that is 1.4 and 1.7. Okay. So, therefore, substituting natin yung 1.2 times your dead load, which is equivalent to 6.50, plus 1.6 live load, you have uh, 10.90. So, therefore, your ultimate load is equivalent to how much? <coughs> okay. So I think hindi na siguro hindi ko na siguro gamitin yung uh, sta uh, yung statistics static stat mode no. So babalik na ako sa main 
main ma <coughs> main mode naka naman yun lahat kay A, B, tsaka C, kay D, tsaka kay B. Okay, so therefore, you have your 1.2 dead load, 6.50, plus you have 1.6 now, live load, that is 10.90. And this will give me how much? Yes, you have 25.24. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me po. So, the moment, maximum moment, oh, simply supported, the maximum moment is WL squared all over 8. So, you have your WL, you have your W25.24, okay, times your L is 10.70. 10.70 squared all over 8. So, therefore, your moment maximum is equal to how much? Saan yun? <coughs> your moment maximum, therefore, you have o yung answer mo kanina times 10.70 squared all over 8. Kaya you have Okay, 316.21595. Okay, you have 316 to 1595. 361.2195. 595. 3, 5, 9, 5. Okay, 5, 9, 5. Okay. 3, 6, 1. <coughs> 2, 1. 595 that's in kilonewton meter and this will be your resisting moment or your ultimate moment so therefore based on LRFD provision your MU must be less than or equal to your phi MN nominal so we will try to get this nominal capacity okay yan yung hahanapin natin okay so we will now proceed with the different steps in solving this one. Ito na lang siguro. Kapihin ko lang itong nasa taas ha? kasi I, I might needed, I might be needing this one. Okay. Ayan. Okay, so first is we will check uh, your step one. Step 1, check for compactness. Ayan. Okay, let's start with flange. Okay, for flange, what will be our, uh, ano, for flange? Criteria, limiting criteria for flange. Okay. Oh, review. Our limiting criteria for flange is of course uh, nakai any CP no? And that is actually your conin muna natin si lambda. That is actually your BF all over 2 TF. And we will compare this between our lambda PF and our lambda RF. Okay? So pag mag fall siya in between these two, so therefore you have a compact section. And this is 0.38 square root ni E all over Fy and this one you have 1.0 square root of E all over your Fy. Okay, so we will substitute now. Dito ko na lang siguro ilagay. Ayan. So I hope nasundan nyo ha. Masundan nyo kahit ito yung pangit yung mga pag pagkasulat. Okay. So substituting here you have BF equivalent to, magkano yung si BF? 190.40 Divided by 2 times you have 14.5. Okay, and that is equivalent to how much? You have 190.4. Calculator. You have 190.4 divided by 2 times 14.5. Okay, so therefore you have magkana to? Ay, bakit ganyan? Ano yan? Ah, kala ko ano. 
6.566 you have 6.566 so let's try to solve this one <coughs> magkano tong dalawang to you have okay 0 l.38 times uh, times the square root of oy what is your e for still that is 200,000 mpa all over na discuss natin na last time diba your FY which is equivalent to okay but hindi ko nalagay sa FY okay tamad ka talaga ba I think nalagay ko naman sa FY diba dun sa <coughs> nalagay ko siya dito ayan andito sa FY that is 345 and 448 so FY is 345 Okay, then press equals, you have 9.15. Lagay ko na 9.149. 9.149. And sa kabila naman, sorry. Sa kabila naman, I will just edit this one. Papalitan ko lang ng 1. Okay, so therefore you have, uy, maximum 24.077. So therefore, flange is Compact. Ayan. Oh, how about the web? <coughs> okay. <coughs> Number for the web naman, we will check. Ang web naman natin is you have the criteria mo is a uh, D over TW <coughs> and your sorry and your uh, saan ito ba't nawala ok you have uh, for the um, uh, ito you have your this is your gamma for flans and you have your gamma PF and the same gamma RF no so this is a uh, 3.76 3 3.76 the square root of e all over fy and this one you have 5.17 the square root of e all over fy so let's try to check your d pala here ah yes your d here will be effective so papalitan ko ito it's not d ha it's h ok so uh your H there is of course uh, you have D456.90 minus dalawa ka flange all over thickness mo ni web uh, you have your thickness ni web that is 9 so therefore magkano to pababa ko lang okay you have 456.90 minus dalawa ka 14.5 then divided by 9 okay, we get 47.544 okay you have 47.544 okay how about itong dalawang to okay I will just use the value kanina ah, sige so na natin you have the square root of 200,000 Divided by your FY, which is 345. Okay, times you have 3.76. Oh, sorry, but napasok. Times 3.76. Okay, therefore, this will give you 19. Okay. 90.53. And the other one, you have my... Okay. 5.70 equals you have 137.24 you have 137.24 so therefore our web is compact okay okay if the web kasi kaya sometimes sa uh, mga reviewer hindi makikita nyo na hindi a uh, reviewer ng LRFD ha na makikita nyo hindi na chinecheck if web kasi it's a very uh, sabotable na na the web is a compact 
Pag web kasi is non-compact, so therefore, magpo-proceed tayo sa web crippling. And that is another topic. So, web crippling na, no? So, murag iyahan ang kumuton si web. Ako kasi non-compact si web. Ayan. Okay. So, our next step. Balik tayo, no? Tapos na tayo doon. So, uh, we will now proceed with our next step. Which is our step 2. Kaya ano yung step 2 gain natin? Balik tayo dito sa chapter 2. Okay. Step 1, determine the compact or non-compact. Step 2 is we will determine the yielding capacity. Yielding strength ni section, no? So, step 2. Determine the yielding. Moment yielding. So, that is actually M. MU is equals to MP. Here is your plastic moment. You have your FY times your ZX. Okay? And by the way, what is this your ZX? Okay? Ano si ZX? Okay, so continue, no? So, ZX is actually the uh, section modulus or the plastic section modulus. So, hindi binigay, so we need to determine. Okay, paano kunin yan? But you just know, we know that uh, Zx is the summation of Q above plus Q below. You know naman siguro what is Q, di ba? Q is the first moment of area along the neutral axis. Uy, ano nangyari? Ayan. Well, so, we will just draw. Draw ko muna first, ha? Try ko lang kung makaya kong draw. Ayan, rectangle. And, andito si another rectangle. Maliit na rectangle. And, pihin ko lang siya. And, eh, of course, ito din. Let's say that this line here, kinat ko sila. This will be my neutral axis. Ayan. Okay. So, let's determine first the side, the, the, the lens. Okay, ano nyari? Ano yun? Let's determine first. Okay. So, this is 190.4. This is 14.5. So, how about this? Magkano to? Okay. Yan is, uh, di ba, your total depth is, uh, uh, total depth is 456.90. That's actually, dito ko na lang ipakita, that is 456.90. Bawasan mo ng dalawang 14.5. Okay, so therefore, yan yung web mo. O, divide po natin. Kaya you have 213.95. So therefore, you have 213.95 Okay? So, of course, the same lang naman yan sa kabila. So, therefore, pagkuha ng ZX natin, that is just actually, oy, ano may center nito? O, first is this area. You have 190.4 times 14.5 times the distance niya from the neutral axis. That is actually 213.95 lang. Plus 14.5 all over 2. Okay, kasi andito siya centroid, di ba? Yan yung centroid ng first figure natin. And ito yung sec centroid ng second figure natin. Okay, our second figure is the web. So, the web is uh, 213.45 times 9 times 213.45 divided by 2. Okay, so therefore, that will be your plastic section of modulus. You have, oh, let's have uh, this calculator. Okay, you have 190.4 times 14.5 times Close points times two one three point 
95 plus okay you have 14.5 divided by 2 close close plus parenthesis 213 point I think that's 95 but it's at 45 okay, that is a 95 213 times 95 times 9 times 213.95 divided by 2 so therefore you have now your plastic section modulus equivalent to this okay you have <coughs> Eight. Okay, wait now. That is eight one six. Eight one six thousand. Can you? Eight one six thousand six hundred seventy four point seven one three. That is mm cube. Wait, but take note. That is for the above. So uh, nakalimutan ko pala na that is times two. This is 95, this is 95, this is times 2. So, therefore, you have, kindly multiply this one to 2. Okay, you get Cx equivalent to how much? Okay, you have, this is times 2. Okay, you have 163, 163339, memorize, 49 pala. You have 163339 point. Yung point niya. Point 343. Mm cube. Okay. So Zx. We will store Zx. <coughs> we will store the Zx to E. Shift stored E. Yan. So therefore, nakai E na yan. Okay. So, meaning, our plastic moment, your plastic moment now, that is equal to Fy times Zx, that is actually 345 MPa, this is actually uh, MPa, times your E, okay, pakidivide lang ako, na, <coughs> okay, So, take note, ang unit natin dito is Newton per mm, no? <coughs> this is actually Newton per mm squared. <coughs> and this is actually mm cube. So, material you have Newton, m, Newton mm, so kindly divide to 1,000. You have for Newton, uh, so 1,000 and another 1,000, so 1,000 squared lang para meron tayong moment in terms kay kilonewton meter. Okay, so we will do that one. You have 300. You have 345 times alpha e. Okay, and divided by 1,000 e square. So therefore, your plastic moment capacity is equal to 563 point. Magkano yun? 506. Ayan, step 2 pa lang tayo. Okay, so let's try with step 3. Okay. Let's try with step 3. Our step 3 is, of course, your flange local buckling. But since flange is compact, Therefore, no flange local buckling. Yan. Bang dali. So, let's proceed now with <coughs> the last step or our step 4. That is for local torsional buckling. Okay. So, your local torsional buckling, meron tayong LB, LP, and LR. Okay. So, let's try to solve with LB. Our LB is the, our unbraced length. So, I will unbrace then take note that that is a brace on the mid-span. So, therefore, I will unbrace length will just be equal to L over 2. 
And that is actually your L is 10,700 mm divided by 2. So therefore, you have 10,700 divided by 2. Okay, you have 5,350. Okay? <coughs> Ayan. Next. Saan yung? Next is, of course, we will now determine our lateral to sura buckling nga coefficient. You have your LB, tsaka your LR. Okay? Let's start now with LB, LP. Sorry, LP is just equal. Mas madali ang LP kasi, di ba? You have a uh, 1.76 RY square root ni E all over FY. Okay? We will solve that on the next page. <coughs> so, your uh, formula again for LP is equal to 1.76 RY square root of E all over your FY. But RY is we know that RY is just the square root of IY all over A. Diba? And that is actually equal to your RY. Okay, you have the square root. Ah, meron pala akong calculator dito. Okay, take note, your IY is the minimum inertia that is stored kay B. So, you have square root of, and dito, oh, stored kay B. So, therefore, your IY is, uh, wala, hindi ko na stored ang area, no? Alpha B, sige lang, over 9327.70. And press equal, you get this equivalent to 42.3214. 3 to 1. Okay, 42.321. Okay, so para mas madali, diretso ko na lang input dito. Magkano ito? Diretso na lang natin, no? <coughs> that is your RY times 1.76 times your square root of 200,000 divided by your FY, which is 345. So, press equals, you get LP equivalent to 1793 point <coughs> sorry 400 mm okay so let's try to check yung kanina uy lp lb <coughs> is greater than lp ayan so we will check if lumagpas siya kay lr okay let's check with lr our uh, well, formula for LR, okay, we have tatlo, no? Ay, ano bang formula natin kay LR? Okay. Um, uh, we will try to use the mahaba, or you will we will use the conservative. Uh, we will use the conservative na lang. The conservative na LR, that is actually, gamitin natin si conservative, ah, para mas madali, no? Si conservative is pi RTS, square root of E all over 0.7 FY. Okay? And actually, your RTS is equal, is R, your RTS is actually your effective radius of gyration. So, meron kang tatlong equation na binigay ni code. Your first code for RTS is, uh, saan na yan? You have the square root, you have RTS squared, is equal to the square root of IY CW all over SX. Okay? And you have your another formula for RTS that is actually equal to the square root uh, squared is equal to IY HO all over your, <coughs> your dalawang SX. And you have your another one, yung conservative that is Actually, um, saan yun? Sorry, I forgot the formula. Okay, okay na. Yung numerator yun, makalimutan ko. That is a BF all over square root of 12 times 1 plus 1, 6 ni HTF and HTW all over BF times thickness ni flange. And you have that square root. Okay. 
You have tatlong equation na binigay ni Code, no? Pero sabi ni Code, you can use this two, one, two, or you can use this one. Ito, conservative masyado si RTS. <coughs> Basahin ko yung nilagay niya kay Code, ah. Ang nilagay niya kay Code for RTS, nasa na yung uh, NCT ko, How about flexure? Ayan. Okay. RTS may be approximated accurately and conservatively as the radius of gyration of the compression flanges plus one-sixth of the web. Okay. So, therefore, we can actually use that one. Tama ba? Conservatively. So, actually, sabi ni Code, masyadong conservative ito lahat. <coughs> conservative, no? So, uh, but uh, we will use these values kasi mas madali itong isolve. And uh, for simplicity na lang, no? If mag-fail yung, uh, if mag-fail yung, yung design natin, we can actually consider yung formula na binigay niya, yung mahaba. Okay? Kung baga, yung mahaba, yun yung hangyo. Okay. So, we will try to use this one. Your RTS, kukunin natin itong tatlo. <coughs> okay. So, hanapin muna natin yung value ng RTS. But for me, no, <coughs> pag hindi ko gusto, ay pag sinabi kong uh, wag ito, sinabi kong hindi ko gamitin yan, hindi ko gamitin ito, we will use this conservatively. <coughs> gamitin natin yung very conservative approach. Ito. Yan. So, for the sake of discussion, we will uh, uh, discover this tatlong RTS lang, no? Para ma-experience na din. Okay. Ayan. Uy, hindi, hindi ko nakapay yung isang. <coughs> Ayan. I'm <coughs> sorry. Grabe kahaba ng explanation na to. Ayan. So, uh, take note that uh, yung mga values na yan, yung iilan dyan, yung IY tsaka CW, yung nakuha na natin kanina. Okay? So, merong bago, that is your SX. But we can determine SX actually. Di ba your SX is actually equal to the inertia all over your C? And that is actually your IX. All over, you have your 456.90 divided by 2. Tama ba? <coughs> Because that will be the farthest distance from your neutral axis. Okay, so therefore, let's try to have this one. That is, your IX is stored by letter A. Okay, you have alpha A divided by 456.90 divided by 2. Okay, then press equals. Okay, you have this one. <coughs> as your I, as your SX, pakistore na lang ako, kay malayo F. Ay, sorry. Store natin ito sa malayo. You have F. Ayan. So, naka-store yan kay F, ha? So, therefore, our number 1, number 2, number 3, our RTS number 1, RTS is equivalent to <coughs> the square root ni square root of IY which is stored kay B, CW which is stored kay D, all over your SX, which is which is stored KF. Okay? And press equals, <coughs> you have <coughs> the square root. <coughs> Ay, dito pala. Okay, you have the square root of square root ni alpha B times alpha D all over alpha F. And press equals, okay, you have 50 point 635. You have <coughs> mm, radius of gyration, man. So, our unit for our radius of gyration, that is <coughs> mm. Okay? Okay. 
So how about our second approach? <coughs> you have your RTS is equivalent to the square root of, or your IY is actually stored KB. So what is that HO? Your HO is your depth or the height or the depth of your web lang naman that is 456.90 minus 14.50. Okay, effective. Okay, 14.50 all over dalawang F. Okay, so this is equal to how much? <coughs> you have actually square root na lang alpha b times 456 456.90 minus 14.50 all over 2 times your alpha f and kindly press equals you get almost exactly the same you have 50.654 mm okay next number three we will not space no <coughs> okay kapihin ko na lang ito ha para ma compare ko next ayan and number three is we are using the conservative approach which is you have your BF all over the square root of 12 times 1 plus 1, 6. Ni HO thickness ni web all over BF, TF. Okay, mas madali ito memorize, no? Kaya you have your BF, or given naman yan lahat, you will just simplify. You have your BF given, you have 190.40. All over the square root of 12 times 1 plus, yan, 1 sixth of the ratio ni flange og ni web. So, si web is, uh, you have 456.90 minus, okay, ano yung minus? Your H mo is actually the web, no? H, so minus dalawang 14.5 Okay, times thickness ni web, that is 9 divided by thickness ni flange you have 14.5 times width ni flange 190.40 Okay, then close parenthesis, then plus equals oh, may error ako Gusto niya palagyan ng times. Ay, ayaw pa rin niya. Ah, kulang tayo ng parenthesis. Another parenthesis. Kaya you get. Okay, you have 49.509. Okay. <coughs> ah, sorry. 1.9. Okay, verify ko lang dito ah, baka may mali tayo ng parenthesis sa ah. verify ko lang sa calculator ko. Times 9 divided by... Okay, so that is the same. You have 49.509. So, therefore, this is 49.509 <coughs> mm. So, verdict. Ano yung gagamitin ko? So, this is free. Very free. No? Meron kang ano dito? Uh, the, um, uh, uh, meron kang extension. So, dito, very conservative. So, I think para mas, mas safer, I will use this one. I will use 49.509. Okay, so therefore, meron na akong 49.509. So therefore, I will use 
that in getting my LR. So, in getting my LR, you have actually this formula. You have pi times RTS times square root of E all over FY. Okay, ang dali na? Sorry, times 0.7 pala yan. Okay. Madali lang ito, no? Yan ba yung nilagay ko kanina? LR. Ano ba wala? Okay. Ayan. But meron tayong isang formula kay LR. Baka, bakit hindi natin gamitin yun, no? Do you want to? Okay, masyado namang mahaba. Ang haba. Okay, so, ito na lang sir, guru, si conservative. You have LR is equals to pi times your RTS is 49.509 times the square root of you have 200,000 all over 0.7 is 345. So, therefore, your LR is equivalent to how much? <coughs> you have pi times 49.509 times the square root of 200,000 over 0 0.7 times 345. <coughs> okay, so therefore you have LR equivalent to Uy, ba't sila magpas? <coughs> so your LR is equivalent to 49 Asan na yun? Four, 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 seven, five point nineteen. Okay, so uh, para ma prove dito, no? You have I'll shift pi times answer times the square root of sorry, square root of two hundred two hundred thousand divided by 0 0.7 times 3, 4, 5. Then, press equals, you get, <coughs> yan, 4, 4, uy! Ah, kasi I'm using the stored. Okay, I will follow this one kasi stored ang ginamit ko na. Okay, I will follow with that one. Ay, ano ba? That is actually 4,000, ano yun? 4476.014 You have 4476.014 mm So take note your LB is greater than LR So therefore this is what type? This is your elastic mode Ayan So in your elastic mode you will be using MP ay, M, MN is equivalent to Ano yung gagamitin natin dito? FCR times SX. And take note, that should be less than or equal to the plastic moment. Ayan. So, FCR na lang. Okay, balik tayo. Yan. So, meron naman tayong LCR na, no? So, magdagdag lang muna ako ng mga free, ano, ha? Free space. Okay. Ay, ba't doon siya naglagay? Ayan. Meron ako mga blank papers. <coughs> okay, so we will continue. So our, based on our conclusion that LB is greater than LR, you have elastic mode. So based on elastic mode, you have your uh, MN equivalent to FCR SX, but this should be less than or equal to your plastic moment. Okay, and take note that your FCR is the Euler's equation. You have CB pi squared. E all over LB all over RTS. Okay? You have the squared. Then take the square root of a 1 plus 0 
JC all over um, SXHO times LB all over RTS. Okay, squared. Pag yan naman yung given, madali naman yun kasi meron naman tayo. Di ba nakalagay naman dito? But how about we get the CB conservatively? Okay, I, we, we get the CB, actual CB. Di ba may binigay, binagyan ko kayo ng CB? Okay. So, 12.5, pag hindi ko, si, hindi ko sinabing use CB equivalent to 1, so therefore, hanapin nyo talaga yung CB. And you have this one. Okay, for this particular problem, no, we will assume CB is equivalent to 1.0. Okay, so therefore, your FCR is equal to, oh, we will solve this one ha, pero gamitin natin yung conservative. Kasi merong user note dito, di ba, na we, we can assume this one as equal to 0. So, for the sake of solving lang muna, you have this, pi squared, times you have your 200,000, all over your LB, over RTS, your LB is actually equal to, magkano yun, 5,350? 5, 5,350 all over your RTS, magkano yung RTS ko? Okay, you have 5,350 all over your RTS, that is 49 point, magkano yung RTS natin? 49.509. <coughs> And this is your squared. Times square root of, oh, pwede ba ilagay ko na lang dito, no? Ayan. Times the square root of 1 plus 0.78. Take note, your J is stored kay C. Ano ba? Saan ko yun nag-stored? Saan ko siya na-stored sa J C? Okay, so J C is stored kay, for, kay C. Tama, andun pala sa gilid. And you have your SX is stored kay F. Hindi ko na bago ka no? F. Then you have your HO. That is, HO natin is uh, depth minus flange lang, no? You have your depth of flange. You have 456.90 minus 14.5. Yan. Kahaba. Kaya I don't want to use this one. Then you have 5350 all over 49.509. And you get the squared. Okay. So, your FCR is equivalent to how much? Okay. Ang ginagawa ko dito, no? Since common ito, gagawin ko na lang, kukunin ko na lang yan sa daan. 49.509. Okay. Equals. So, therefore, that is naka-stored kay answer. Diba? So, therefore, magpapay squared ako times 1 times 200,000 divided by answer kanina times sorry answer squared times okay square root of 1 plus 0.78 times naka stored kay alpha c all over alpha f times 456 0.90 minus 14.5 no? close parenthesis then another close parenthesis then open yung nakastored na kay answer then squared then viola you get FCR equal to 480 point we will compare this one 480.159 9 MPa. O how about we will, if we will assume conservative? Pag conservatively, sorry. Pag conservative, we will just take FCR equivalent to CB pi squared E all over LB all over RTS E square. Yan lang di ba yun nilagay ko for simply, so for simple. Um, sana yan 
for simple analysis. Ayan, conservative. Okay. So, meaning nito, lahat yan ang ginagawa natin yung conservative or not, that is acceptable by the code. Okay, so you have 1.0 pi squared times 200,000 divided by your LB, you have 5350 all over 49.509 squared. So, you have your FCR equivalent to kaya sa board exam, pag may lumalabas na steel, hindi maaari na hindi ibigay ni examiner yung code. Okay? Yan. You have, oh, uy, ba't kaliit? Tama ba? Magkano kanina? Okay, wait lang ha. I think I have a little bit error sa ano ko, sa FCR. Mm-mm. Wait lang. Uh, parang may mali. Times the square root of 1 plus 0 0.078 times your GC ko 494 475.333 all over your SX ko na kay F. Ko lang si alpha F ha. Sa gitna, verify ko lang ah. 0255.619 times you have your <coughs> 456.90 minus 14.5 times 5350.49.579 squared. Ayan lagi. So, may error ako sa pag-solve kanina, ha? Ulitin na lang natin. Ito. Hindi ko ata na square. Okay, si pi. So, kunin ko na lang si 5350 divided by 49.509. Okay, press equals. Okay, so naka-store dyan kay answer. Kaya you have 1 times pi squared times e mo 200,000 divided by and squared, okay, times the square root mo ng 1 plus 0 0.78 ni alpha c c all over alpha f times 456.90 minus 14.5 okay close natin siya din another parenthesis for answer squared okay then press equals okay, for 80 talaga but iba yung manual calculation ko for 80 ba <coughs> Kasi kalayo ng pi squared times 200,000 all over your 5350 all over 49.509 squared 169. Kalayo no? Compared sa 480.159. Kaya pala sabi niya dito, masyadong conservative CFCR. Hmm. Bakit may C? Ba't iba ang nalabas sa manual calculation? Kunin ko daw yung sa ano ha? 
sa inside parenthesis ay inside the square root of 1 start na lang tayo dito kay LB pag uh, the same pa rin yung sagot I will, we will stick on that answer k squared k times jc which is stored kay c all over your alpha f times your 4 5 6.9 minus 14 point sorry point 5 Okay, then press equals times 0 0.078. Okay, so that is very small, plus 1. Okay, take note, the square root of that is 1.3 lang. Okay, so that is, this value is 1.3. Okay, times natin sa pi squared times 200 thousand divided by 5350 all over 49.509 and take the square and ayan ito yung sagot kasi na binibigay na ang calculator ko okay, siguro may problem tayo sa pa, sa pag ano nyo sa pag parenthesis ok so therefore you have Okay, 220.845. Okay, this is MPA. Now, about the other one. The other one is ito. This is actually... Sorry. This is actually... Kunin ko lang ito. Okay, 160. Ang layo, no? So, very conservative si second method 169.04 okay so therefore our mp uh, sorry mn is equal to fcrsx kaya you have 169.04 times your sx is stored kay f and kindly divide this one to 1000 squared kaya you have luminal moment equivalent to how much so times alpha f press equals Divided by 1,000 squared, ka you have, oy, 243.461, and that is kilonewton meter, okay? So, therefore, you have here, as your capacity, no? Ayan. So, therefore, our, uh, that, that is our last step, man. So, our MU, our M, uh, MN is equals to how much yun? 243.461. Uh, this is in kilonewton meter. So, therefore, your MU is equivalent to how much yun kanina? That is actually, uh, pila yan, uh, 1.2, solve ko na lang ha, kasi masyado na mahaba, times 10.90, you have 361, 216 kN per mm, okay? So, your ultimate moment is 361.216 and this should be less than 0.90 ni 243.461. Okay, ano yung conclusion mo? You have 361.216 is greater than 219.119. Greater than so, therefore, inadequate. using conservative approach.
Ayan. So, inadequate using conservative approach. Okay. Try nyo naman yung mga hangyo. Okay. Yung mga hangyo dyan is your, you will increase the CB and you will use the FCR yung mahabang formula, yung 220. Pero magbabago yun kasi you have your CB na another value ni CB. Kasi mag-increase yung stability nito eh. Si CB is to increase the stability. Take it, minago ko na yung question na. Yung tama na yung question. Kasi brace at mean span. So, meaning yung mga moment mo doon is mag-iiba. Mag-iiba-iba. Okay. Kaya mag-i-increase lalo si FCR. So, using conservative approach, this is fail. So, next meeting, we will try to solve this one using our um, uh, not so conservative approach. Yung uh, binigay niya ng mga formula sa white book, a white page. Okay? So, I think that matters. Uh, yan lang muna ngayon. Masyadong mahaba, no? So, uh, just watch it and uh, um, uh, we will discuss more of this next meeting. Magpo-focus tayo kay Flexure kasi yun yung mahirap. Okay, thank you. God bless and good morning.